Alrighty, we got another weekend kingdom. What's going on here? Okay, so there's no village anywhere in this kingdom. That does not necessarily mean we can't do things. Because there is non-terminal draw in the form of laboratory. And there's good trashing. So you'd easily get thin, play a bunch of labs, and then just play one terminal action card per turn. Uh, so there's probably things to accomplish. Um, so there's thinning, there's draw, there's no villages. For gains, we write gain actions, smugglers can gain stuff. Charm can be a buy card or a gainer. Bobble is buys. The favors, I believe, yep. Architect Guild is also a gainer. Um, seems decent here. You get two favors. You can turn a province buy into province gold, a gold buy into gold lab, um, a lab buy into lab patron. That seems like a, a decent exchange here. Uh, River Shrine, not really a gainer. Like, you gain stuff, but only if you didn't buy things. So you're not increasing the number of gains per turn by playing River Shrine. Uh, so, we got a bunch of okay ish looking gains. I think, and we also have a museum, so I think what's happening here is probably goal is get thin and get a bunch of labs, seems like the most important card to me, and then you're just playing with a mix of all the other stuff. Uh, you collect a copy or two of each for the museum points, and then you're provincing while completing your museum, so you don't need to get every single card, but it'll be a decent amount of points to get most of them. Uh, how do you open here? Uh... Chapel Patron, first thing that comes to mind. Patron is essentially just like a silver, ever so slightly better than silver. I don't think there's anything that activates Patron's effect here. There's nothing I can see that would make you reveal it. Um, so it's basically a silver that gives you a villager that in some very narrow cases could potentially matter. Uh, I guess it's also a silver that costs a little bit more, so you might as well get it when you can, so you can buy silver on a future $3 turn. Um, so Chapel Patron is basically a Chapel Silver. Other option that I see would be something like Raise River Shrine. Um, Raise is good at thinning, River Shrine is good at thinning. Uh, you're only trashing two when you play River Shrine compared to four with Chapel, but you're also gaining something the same turn, which seems okay. Uh, River Shrine is giving favors, which means you would activate Sickness. I don't think that matters much. Not because sickness isn't impactful. You know, gaining a curse specifically at the top of your deck is pretty painful, but it hits both of you. Uh, so I don't know that it changes the equation very much as to whether you get River Shrine, the fact that it activates sickness. Uh, yeah, those are the two things jumping out to me, I think. Chapel Patron, Raise River Shrine. I guess the question is, what do those get you to buying laboratories sooner? I think you probably want to get Charm early. Maybe even the first five, depending on how it goes. Like, you want charm as soon as you can play five money plus charm, and then do like charm plus lab. Sounds like a good way to begin in the laboratories. Uh, hmm. Which do I think gets me to labs faster? Hmm. I'll just go for the the chapel patron line. Not totally sure. It is, this has at least some chance of hitting five immediately. Okay, not not with this hand. This is terrible. This is really bad. <laughs> um, the reason this hand is terrible is mostly because what it likely implies about this next hand. You don't want your chapel to line up with four coppers. Uh, certainly not. You want your chapel to trash estates first, if at all possible. Um, hopefully that'll happen next shuffle. What did the bot do? Okay, so the bot went with Ray's River Shrine. Uh, I think I might care about lab enough to just not trash a copper here. Let me think about this. Next hand, I chapel away a ton of estates. I'm actually going to take Charm first, I think. And my bottom five are. Charm, Patron, Copper, Copper, Raise. So if I do this, I'm hitting 5 plus uh, a Charm. 
off the trash the rays. I think that's worth it. Gain a card. And second charm, probably. Could also be Wheelwright. Wheelwright could discard the chapel, regain rays, and I think charms is better. All right, so there's a one third chance at bottom deck chapel, and it would make me very happy if I could do that. <sighs> nope. Obviously, drawing patron would be better because then I could uh, gain three fives. So this hand just gets me two, but that's fine. At some point, I gotta kill most of these coppers. I probably want to leave. Actually, I don't, I don't even know if I just really want to leave one. Copper would be a pretty trivial thing to gain again later in the game from museum points because you get plenty of buys off of the charms. This is a happy hand. I am a happy camper. Somehow the bot doesn't have labs yet, and I'll have to go back and look and see what went wrong. Um, let's take a wheel right now and three labs. As a smugglers. Okay, um, what do I want most here? Whatever it is, I can gain and play it. I'm thinking just, well, can I empty the labs? Yeah, if I can do that, let's do that. Because with the bot having a smugglers around, I would be happy if it cannot smuggle a laboratory. And if I have all the labs, it cannot. You can have a wheel right bot. Okay, well, now I feel totally won. I don't know how I won the lab split this badly, but somehow I didn't. Architects Guild, exciting. Yeah, I should get a bobble at some point, probably. Because now I want to be buying provinces, and I'd love for the provinces to come with golds. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to accomplish off of the overdraw. I guess I want... Is Smuggler's any good for me? I can gain a wheelwright, which I don't really care about. I can gain a charm, which seems okay. I, mean, I probably want a Smuggler's at some point. Could be now. I probably want to finish off these coppers. To get one patron. And I guess I can support one more wheel right, right? And I guess smugglers now. I can get smugglers soon. Am I buying province already? I want to gain a bobble this turn. I could do gain charm, or sorry, gain patron, play through patrons, and like charms for plus buy, and do like province and some baubles. There's really nothing else I want that much at any point in this kingdom, aside from just buying provinces. Like, lab is really the only thing that you need a bunch of. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take a patron. We'll kill these coppers. Province double bubble. Hmm. <laughs> 
I could even conceivably pile out, not this turn I think, but like over two turns maybe, gain a few more wheel rights and then patrons look like a pile. I, I Maybe even this turn, I don't know. Could I gain four wheel rights and then charm gain a bunch of patrons? I wouldn't totally rule that out. Uh, well, if I bottom deck all my labs, I might not be able to do that. I'm going to turn this chapel into a raise, I think. Well, <laughs> I thought I had labs. I guess I was just kidding about that. Let's go ahead and take a smugglers now. Some points. Um, favor. I don't think the top decking matters. There's nothing I want to top deck here. Except for laboratories. I'll buy a province now. Gain a gold. I'll buy a silver because that's something I can't gain with wheel right. I was hoping, and I think it was not unlikely to happen, that I could find all my labs, draw my deck, and then gain a smugglers and play it and gain the duchy off of the bot skein. But it was not meant to be. So cards I don't have a copy of yet. Trading Post, Duchy, Copper, Estate, Curse, uh, River Shrine. Trading post be easy to gain off of wheel rights, and that'll just be two points whenever I want it. Same thing with River Shrine. Um, copper will also be easy to gain. What did the bot gain? Province wheel right. Gold. I don't really care about any of those. I'll probably smuggle the gold. Um, <laughs> Well, I have a win here. I've already got a points lead, so let's lower these. I think I got some wheel rights on the bottom there. Um, would this win? This seems like it would win. Gain a wheel right. I can smuggle a wheel right. Let's gain a patron. Wheel right. Gain, gain, gain. I want. I guess by favor. Um. Coins and buys both. I guess buy metaphor a little bit here. Okay, so now we buy river shrine. Gain. Didn't mean to click that. Decline. Right there's a pile out. Take a duchy. Uh, do these don't have, have a copy? If I just kill my chapel, right? Regain that by a copper. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know where everything went so wrong for the bot. It must have had a poor draw. Uh, I thought my early draw looked really scary. The Chapel 4 Coppers turn seemed like it was going to be a disaster. But then I, I hit Chapel in all three states in the next hand, so I think it worked out fine and didn't actually set me back as much as it could have. Um, and then, yeah, just all the labs, and then you can do various stuff when you have all the labs. Uh, so what exactly happened for the bot? Let's go look. I think Ray's River Shrine is a perfectly fine opening. That was the one other thing I was contemplating as a close second to Chapel plus Patron. Uh, play to raise. I don't, I don't like buying a second raise, I don't think. You've already trashed one card, you're probably gonna trash, or you're guaranteed to be able to trash two more turn four. This should probably be a silver, because you wanna get to the point where your deck has you know, five money in it, and you buy a charm, and you're doing charm plus uh, lab. Yeah, patron, I think, is a good gain. 
So yeah, I think that should have been silver. Or we get a patron. We line these up, we trash two, gain a bobble. Did it get to lap? Turn six. I don't know the exact content of its deck here. It had to trash a raise. Ends up with Patreon for coppers. My guess is it didn't have the Patreon in its hand at the time. Like if your hand is Patreon, three coppers and a raise, I think you just don't play the raise. Um, I'm gonna assume it had pay, uh, raise in four coppers, in which case trashing the raise to hit five probably makes sense. Um, and the first lab might make sense. Again, charm is good once you're likely to have a hand of five plus charm. Um, so it could be fine to buy one lab first and then charm if you don't think you're gonna hit that. I'm not sure whether the bot is more likely to hit five alongside its charm or not. Like it could with patron three coppers charm. I think probably charm first is correct, but first lab and then a charm also seems fine. Lab, trash two coppers. Um, gains a patron on a raise. This is a turn where it could have, where it could have hit five. Yeah, it, it would have had two coppers, bobble, two more coppers. Um, I think you forego trash in the last few coppers to keep hitting five here. And then it takes the charm. I guess by this point it's already too late because I'm gaining all the labs really fast here. And then this looks like a bit of a dud. Okay, so maybe there's some slightly bad draws here from the bot. Turn nine, and maybe some slightly suboptimal decisions in terms of over thinning a little bit versus hitting five. Um, these last few coppers probably didn't need to be trashed quite yet. Um, and then, yeah, and then that I'm player one. So, you know, like, one extra turn for me was an extra, like, four laboratories. Imagine the bot gets to the labs with, with four four more labs left. Maybe the split is a little bit more e e even. I don't think the bot did horribly here. I think maybe it over thinned a little bit when hitting five was more important than killing your coppers. Then you can finish off the coppers later. Um, but it ended up being very easy when you have all the laboratories.